All right, so one of the weirder design choices here on the Ram TRX is this gray skid plate. It's not that big of a deal on most colors, but since I do have the black truck, this just looks out of place. Everything on this truck is black. And then we have a gray skid plate. I'm not really sure what the, the choice of design there was with the, the Ram guys, but we have a fix for this. Now you're probably asking by now, well, Justin, what are you doing? We're gonna change this to black. And yes, believe it or not, Dodge makes this thing in like five different colors. This is gray, they make a bright silver, they make a black, and from what I understand, they may also have a gloss black. But I went with a flat black because everything here is matte black. But there's a whole bunch of these things that Dodge has for some reason, and I know that right off the top of my head, they will definitely fit the TRX and the Ram Rebel, and these come in a couple different colors. But anyway, we're doing black. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Today, we are going to fix something on the TRX that, in my opinion, should never have come on the truck by default, or at least we should have been given the option to change this out from factory. But nonetheless, we're going to be doing it today. Stay tuned, guys. This is something any of you out there with a Ram Rebel or a Ram TRX can definitely benefit from. So we're going to do a little bit of a do-it-yourself kind of thing with this particular bumper. I'm going to show you the process because it isn't super difficult, but it is definitely time-consuming. So Let's jump into it. The first step is we're gonna get underneath the truck. We gotta actually remove the skid plate portion of the under part of the truck. Then after that, we're gonna get into the fender wells and remove the bottom part of each fender well to give us access to the bolts that hold the bumper onto the truck. And believe it or not, that's all there is to it. The bumper will then come off and that's when the real fun starts. But to get the bumper off the truck, it's not actually that difficult. And there's Onyx. He's coming out to, to help with the truck, guys. This is my American Cocker Spaniel. He's, he's a good little boy. He's going to the bathroom. So anyway, let's jump into the truck. So first step is to come into the fender well here. You can see two eight millimeter screws right there. You can actually just loosen those because they can be slid over. You can see the little hole right there. And then other than that, we would come over here and take out these ones and the one down there. And then this lower fender well shield will come off, giving us access to what we need to do next. Now you're going to want to do this on both the driver's side and passenger side. So you'll have access to the bolts holding the bumper to the frame. With the fender well shield out, we can see the first connection we're going to have to take off, which is right there. And then we can see the three bolts holding the bumper to the frame right there. Obviously the third one being a little more difficult to get to, that one right there. The passenger side is gonna be the same minus this electrical connector. So let's go ahead and release the gray tab on here. Or actually the red one first, like that. And then we'll just pull this. Just like that. After you pull that red clip back, you can then pull this gray clip all the way back and it will release those two and you'll just separate them. And on the passenger side, we already took off the inner fender well there. You can see there's no electrical connection on this side, but there is the same three bolts connecting the bumper to the frame. So we'll go ahead and remove those next. Onto the nuts holding the bumper onto the frame here. These are 18 millimeter. Uh, for the most part, I can get an impact gun in there on these two, but that one up there is going to require the use of a wrench. Let's go ahead and get these off of here many hours later all right guys we just got this bumper off and you've probably seen the other videos talking about how hard these inner bolts were to get off yeah we have a lot of tools a lot of blood and <laughs> my neighbor came over to help me and somehow he managed to get the bolts off when i couldn't so he's the magic man it's all about getting a good grip and yeah so we're underneath it with the 18 millimeter socket on a on a ratchet i tried a wrench i mean this this is no joke this thing is no freaking joke so if you can and if you want to pay the dealership to do this it's probably the best way we like to do things ourselves here but yeah if it wasn't for my neighbor bill getting good leverage I don't think I'd been able to do yeah, it. it. <laughs> I was out here for. It wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was out here for probably, I don't know, two or three hours trying just those last two bolts. Everything else was out. Those last two, I could not get enough leverage on it, and I even tried my my extension bar here, and it, there's just no room. It's that old man strength. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to be a help. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Okay. All right, guys, so here we are after the bumper is off the truck. Thankfully, my neighbor, Bill, was able to help because that third bolt, which is, or not, I guess, it was right here, is really, really tough. So um, it's probably a case of me not having the right tool for the job, but at the end of the day, I was able to get it done uh, just 
be mindful of the fact that this is going to be tough. Now, obviously, we are in my living room. My wife is going to absolutely love me, and so does my dog here. But basically, we need to get all this hardware off. So all of these bolts down along here need to come off. So this entire part right here can come out, which will then reveal the bolts down below here for this skid plate part. I'm going to zoom out a little bit here, but uh, yeah, I mean, everything's going to stay the same. You guys say... Say hi to Onyx again. He's he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Say hi to the camera, Onyx. Good boy. He's going to help us with this process, I guess. But like I said, we're just going to basically remove all these bolts. I'll tell you what size they are as we go through here, just so you know. And I will tell you which ones you definitely have to remove to get this done. I grabbed a bunch of sockets, so we're going to know the size of everything here in a second. So these black ones right here, those are 13 millimeter. These little ones over here on the side are eight millimeter. The silver ones right there look to be about a 10. Yep. And then there's black ones right here that are holding the actual skid plate part on. They look to be a 13 as well. So it looks like 13, 10, and eight should get pretty much all these done. Plus we also have a tool to pop off some of the wire harness holders here, but we'll get to that later. Pretty much anything can be used for that. We shouldn't have to take that one out because it's just holding that bracket on. All right, Alex, you're not gonna be able to help, buddy. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get these bolts off. These are 13 millimeter as well. And then there is one hiding right here as well. There is two right here and here, also 13 millimeters. Then there's another 13 millimeter up here. There is also a 10 millimeter bolt right here holding what looks like the fog light bracket to the skid plate here. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the eight millimeter nut here and this little clip right here. And then that will be all of the bolts you have to remove on the left-hand side of it. And all of these bolts are the same on the right-hand side. So we're just gonna kind of ignore that. Once we get these two out, we're then gonna just remove this wire harness right here. So we'll just unclip it and then move on to the top part. Oh, that went flying. A tool like this is probably your best bet for removing these. Um, I have this or something like this from Harbor Freight. You should be able to go ahead and just pop those right out. Um, there's a good bit of them all the way along here and some over here on the side. So you'll want something like this to not scratch this all up. And then lastly, there is two wire harness clips right here as well. All right, so next we're gonna remove this top plastic trim part here, which actually hides a couple T40 screws going straight down in. Once we get that off, this is pretty much ready to be pulled out. Easiest way to do this is to kind of squeeze these clips. You could do this with a pair of needle nose pliers or pretty much any pliers at all. Um, these are just kind of on here with like rubbery clips, you can just squeeze and pull out. So with that off, you can see there is one, two, three T40 bolts that have to come out. These two over here are just for the fog light. Those don't need to come out. All right, so with all the screws out, we should be able to go ahead and lift this metal part out. Gotta kind of finagle it around these things. That's out. So without the uh, big metal part in there, we can go ahead and start taking out the rest of this stuff. So you can see all the 13 millimeter bolts all along here, and these two 10 millimeters. We gotta take out all these bolts, and then this skid plate part will basically drop right off. I don't think that's quite loud enough. So then these screws up here, these are 10 millimeters. Up and over. 
So this is pretty much it. I got the black one on after I swapped out all the hardware from the gray one. So the gray one had a bunch of U-nuts and things like that that need to be swapped over to the black one. It's nothing crazy, so I didn't even show it. Basically, you slide them off the old one, you slide them on the new one, and then reassembly here is obviously the opposite of disassembly. So just put it back on, put all those bolts back in, uh, all the wire harness, uh, Christmas tree style connections, you can just pop back in, and then we're pretty much ready to put this back on the truck. All right, guys, and she is all done. I will tell you what, this was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. It was not very easy. So basically what ended up happening was there is basically six bolts that hold this bumper on or six nuts, I guess, and four of them on the outside. So two here and two over here are pretty easy to get to. And then there's one here and one there that are just absolutely really, really difficult to get to. And then once you get to it and get the bumper off, that's not all. Then you got to take the bumper out and remove all the hardware from the back. It's it's a pretty extensive process, but I do think it's worth it. I'm going to throw in a before shot and an after shot because it really is. It definitely just looks a lot more like the truck should look, especially if you have the black one like I do here. So I do definitely recommend this over painting this area because I've seen some trucks that get painted in the skid plate or bumper area. And especially here in Pennsylvania, the road debris is going to beat that up and it's going to look bad really quickly. So this is definitely the way to go, but it is a lot more difficult. So if you think this is something you want to do, keep in mind, this is not easy at all. And I do all of my own maintenance, all of my own work on my cars. So I'm used to getting into stuff that's a little more on the difficult end. This, this is up there. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. So hopefully I helped somebody out there. I, hopefully I uh, helped someone figure this out a little bit more. If you are interested in doing it yourself, it can be done. It is just a lot more work than you would think for something that simple. I'm not really 100% sure why Dodge decided to make that so difficult to remove, especially since that is going to be a part that's going to get beat up from time to time if you're doing any kind of off-roading or anything. But I'm not an engineer, so... I guess they know more than I do. Anyway, guys, if you liked what you saw, please smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so I can keep creating this stuff for you. If you have any questions about what we did here, leave them in the comment section down below and I will definitely get you an answer. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm gonna have loads of content like this coming. You're not gonna wanna miss. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next upload.